Hello friends uh, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Mohsen Raj. I'm a DM cardiology student at Ames Delhi. In this video, we will understand the difference between various Littmann stethoscopes and which one is best for you. So watch the video till the end. And by the end, you should know which one of these brands, the types of different Littmann stethoscopes that you would like to purchase for yourself because they do cost quite a handful. So uh, in general, there are four different types of Littmann stethoscopes. One, we have digital stethoscopes. I don't have it here. It costs around 30,000, 29,000. The difference is that stethoscope is uh, provided with certain added features, like for example, 40 times the magnification or the um, increase in the loudness of the sounds that you will hear, or the active noise cancellation, something like an AirPods Pro. So, and plus you can, you can depict the graphical, you know, uh, representation of the sounds that you're hearing that's used for learning purposes, but by and large in clinical practice, nobody uses those stethoscopes. Maybe some academic centers may use them, but here I have other three series of Littmann stethoscopes. This one is the lightweight, Littmann lightweight stethoscope. This is the lightest and is the cheapest one. Then this is the classic the routine one which everyone uses the Littmann classic stethoscope and then here I have Littmann cardiology stethoscopes the master cardiology stethoscope and Littmann cardiology 4 stethoscope so what's the difference between these stethoscopes so starting with the lightweight stethoscope so as you know the different parts of the stethoscope it has a chest piece it has a tubing it has these air tubings and it has this uh, air buds okay so this is the lightest. If you uh, compare all these four in terms of its weight, it's probably around 120 or 130 grams as per the, uh, the uh, product uh, information there. But what is, uh, who should use this stethoscope? You can see its diaphragm, its, its chest piece is almost a teardrop shape. So it is designed in a way that the uh, end of this, the front part of this stethoscope, it slides underneath a blood pressure cuff. So it's ideally recommended for physicians or nurse practitioners to recommend blood pressure and do a basic physical exam maybe record gross abnormalities of the cardiac sounds or breath sounds but this is the basic version that's recommended for junior doctors or for nurse practitioners to record blood pressure and do basic physical examination and its diaphragm is more of designed as a teardrop to fit underneath a blood pressure cuff and also it has a bell on the one side and a tunable diaphragm on one side so you can use diaphragm you can use bell to listen to different frequencies of the sounds and do a basic physical examination with this okay now coming to the Littmann classic stethoscope now this is uh, it also comes in different flavors you have Littmann uh, which is meant for adults your Littmann which is meant for pediatric patients and this is a dual one which has an uh, it, it, it will have an adult diaphragm on one side and it will have a pediatric diaphragm on the other side so this is Littmann classic stethoscope adult plus pediatric you have dedicated pediatric stethoscopes and you also have dedicated infant size stethoscopes and this one typically costs around seven or eight thousand rupees now who should buy this most of the doctors should be using this classic Littmann stethoscope. Now, it provides you two diaphragms. They are tunable diaphragms. You can easily adjust between the pediatric one and the adult one. And it has a single tubing to connect to the air pieces. And it does help you in doing a detailed examination of the cardiovascular system or respiratory system. Or if you're listening to bowel sounds or abdominal drooey, they should be able to do it. And it does most of the things that any physician needs to do. So for medical students, for a person who is doing medicine or surgery, MS, MS and surgery or MD medicine, this is the one that should be routinely used. And it costs around seven, eight thousand. This lightweight costs around six thousand or five to six thousand rupees. Now coming to the cardiology one. So this I have here, the, this is the master cardiology stethoscope. And this uh, at the end, we have the Littmann cardiology 4 stethoscope. So what is the difference between a classic Littmann stethoscope and a cardiology stethoscope and who should use this? Now, as you can appreciate, there are some key differences. One, its diaphragm is a lot bigger. Okay, this has only the adult diaphragm, whereas the Littmann cardiology 4 has adult on one side and pediatric on the other side. But this is, an, this is a cardiology stethoscope. So the diaphragm is larger. 
the tubings are broader, they're wider tubings and it has a dual tubing system. So overall the advantage using this wide, this larger or broader chest piece and wider and dual lumen tubings is enhanced acoustics. So it's auditory performance, the sounds we get to listen through this are definitely superior than the classic two stethoscope. So there's a definite difference in terms of sound quality between master cardiology stethoscope and classic Littmann stethoscope. So who should be using this? Definitely it's recommended for cardiologists because we are interested in as cardiologists very low frequency or very subtle chains in heart sounds, third heart sounds, fourth heart sounds, opening snaps and all those things, knocks. So those things are best heard with this stethoscope. It, it offers enhanced acoustic performance even in uh, conditions which are not that favorable. For example, in, an, in a loud emergency room or it's also recommended for people doing critical care medicine in the different ICUs. So you have lots of those beeps and sounds going on in the ICU and it offers better auditory performance than the classic stethoscope in such conditions. And you should be able to perform the detailed, most detailed cardiological examination or lung examination with this. So you should be able to pick most of the sounds with this, but definitely, but remember the, the disclaimer that actually you need to know the things first, then only you can, you'll be able to hear those things. For example, you know the idea of an opening snap of a mitral stenosis patient, then you can use this stethoscope to listen to that. But if you don't know the knowledge, if you don't have the knowledge, of course, no stethoscope can help you to listen any of such sounds. So this is meant for cardiologists, this is meant for critical care physicians working in ICUs and the same is true for this one. The Littman Cardiology 4 which has an adult diaphragm on one side and a pediatric diaphragm on the other side and also has a wide tubing, a double lumen tubing and performs equally good as the master cardiology stethoscopes. They roughly cost, this one costs around 16,000, this one costs around 18,000. This is the black plated version, you have different colors available. This black plated version roughly costs around 18,000 and the routine one which is stainless steel costs around 16,000. And another unique thing of these cardiology stethoscopes is that their diaphragm is tunable. By that I mean you, you can adjust the pressure of this diaphragm, you can adjust the pressure, the amount of pressure you apply and by that you can change the frequency of sounds that you will be actually listening to. For example, if I press it lightly, I'm going to be listening to low frequency sounds. If I want to hear high frequency sounds, I'll press it more firmly to hear the high frequency sounds. So as you can see, there's no bell on the back of this master cardiology stethoscope. But by varying the pressure on this tunable diaphragm, you can listen to high frequency sounds, you can listen to low frequency sounds without rotating the diaphragm just like you have to do it on a classic stethoscope. So basically which one you should buy as a medical student? Yes, should you actually buy a Littmann stethoscope or should you buy something else? Like uh, you have um, other, uh, other pieces of uh, devices that cost you maybe 700 rupees or 1000 rupees. One thing I want you to remember is that don't compromise on this basic tool. This is the number one tool that every doctor uses. So don't compromise on the quality of this by Litman. Okay, because during your MBBS, you will be learning physical examination. You'll be learning all different types of lung sounds, all different types of heart sounds, murmurs or bowel sounds or brewies. So don't miss this opportunity of doing examination as an MBBS student using a Littman stethoscope and actually learning the best version of those sounds. Practice it on your patients. Okay, so this is a useful piece. Costs whatever, 8,000, 7,000 for a classic stethoscope. But you should buy, you should, you should not compromise on the quality of your stethoscope. This is in a way identity of our, the doctors. So you should use the best version of the stethoscope. Okay, but for medical students, when should you buy stethoscope? Probably in your third year. Okay, when you actually go to the wards, go to the medicine postings, surgery postings, pediatrics postings, gynecology postings, and then use these, uh, use, this is the one I recommend to most of the medical students and the medicine residents. Okay, this is the classic Littmann stethoscope and it has one adult diaphragm on one side and a pediatric diaphragm on the other side. And you can easily, it has a, you can easily replace it, remove this diaphragm and, 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 and just insert a rim and it becomes a classic bell of the stethoscope. Okay. So this is the one I recommend. It costs around 7,000 or 8,000 rupees, comes in all different colors and flavors. I had a purple one prior to this. This belongs to one of my friends. It's a black one. Okay, so and uh, who should buy these cardiology stethoscopes? Some obviously a cardiologist or someone who works in an ICU 
or even a medicine uh, a physician can use it to do a detailed cardiological examination but it costs little more it costs around 16 to 18 thousand bucks so i hope you like today's videos and you would have got an idea about which one should you buy now what about this one this light mix stethoscope i don't think it you should buy this it's probably meant for nurses for recording blood pressure or doing basic auscultation this may be okay during your first year MBBS or second year MBBS, but beyond that, you should buy the Littman Classic Stethoscope, either just a dedicated adult one or something like this, which has an adult on one side and a pediatric diaphragm on the other side. I hope you like the video. See you in the other videos um, that I'm about to upload. Thank you.